Hey guys, thanks for watching Red Dirt Rods. Now today I want to show you a quick little project with a battery charger. So recently we had a battery in a vehicle that was flat and we went to put our battery charger on it and we hooked it up. Everything looked like it was working and then it kept saying that it, the dis battery was disconnected. So we started looking at a few different things. We weren't sure if it was an issue with the corrosion on the battery or something like that. Turns out it was actually in the clamps and this is a really common issue. And you'll notice on this particular clamp that it has gotten warm and the uh, insulation has peeled back in a few places. So we're gonna do a couple of things to show you how to test this and then we're gonna replace it. So first thing is we have our multimeter. We've got our leads here. We've got our multimeter set at 200 ohms and we're gonna check the impedance of the actual uh, probes and we're at 0.3. So these probes have 0.3 uh, ohms impedance. So we're gonna replace these soon, but we need to know that for this test. So we're gonna take one of these and we're just gonna clamp it right there into the jaws of the clamp. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then we're gonna check the clamp itself. First, we're gonna check the body of the clamp. 0.4, that's good. Then we take our other probe and we're gonna stick it right into the bare wire. And notice how that resistance is jumping around as we move the wire, it moves, it increases. There's a couple of really bad spots in here. 34, 18, I saw 150 ohms of resistance in here earlier. So we know that we've got an issue with this section of wire and the terminal. We're also noticed that this, um, the bolt that is holding the terminal onto our clamp is rusted. So we're gonna take all of this off. We're gonna replace this. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So set this aside. First things first, we're gonna remove the clamp from the wire. So some clamps are threaded, some use a bolt. This one uses a bolt. This is pretty crusty. So that's a big part of the issue. Flat blade screwdriver and I'm just gonna gently pry on the clamp spring just to get this up a little bit. There we go. So that right there is a big part of the problem because it's gotten hot and it's corroded. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back and we're gonna pull a decent amount of this off because we know that this is gonna be fairly corroded up here. So we cut that, toss it. We're gonna take our side cutters. You can use your side cutters or you can use a razor blade just lightly squeeze on the wire jacket to cut it. You don't want to cut into the wire. We've cut and stripped our wire. We've got a bit of heat shrink. We're going to slide that over. Pull it back a little bit. This is 8 gauge wire, so we're going to use a brand new uh, copper 8 gauge lug. We're gonna put this in the correct side of our crimpers. I like using these because it won't let you release the crimp until it is completed. So then we're gonna take our heat shrink, slide it over, go all the way up to the end. And we're gonna shrink the heat shrink real quick. All right, now we're gonna address the clamp. So this is the original clamp. It's got a little bit of rust, but the clamp itself is still good. We could replace it with a new one, but I wanna reuse this one. So I've got a little uh, Scotch-Brite pad on a, our, our cordless tool here. Just gonna clean off any corrosion. Now, if you don't have a tool like this, that's okay. You can 
hit this by hand with some scotch bride or a little piece of sandpaper just to knock that corrosion and rust off. And that's what I'm doing with this. I'm just doing it quickly. Now, instead of this old crusty rusted bolt, we're gonna use some new stainless steel hardware. It's a little bit larger. This is a quarter 20. And we're gonna use this lock nut to secure it. I'm sorry, we're gonna use this lock washer to secure it. So I'm putting the lock washer on the outside because I want it to bite into the metal. We're going to get a good connection with the bolt and the nut on the other side. And the bolt that we're using is an Allen head, so I'm just gonna use a Allen wrench to tighten this up. The lock washer will also help keep this bolt from loosening up so that we shouldn't have any of these issues in the future because most of the problem came from that nut and bolt not being tight enough and that caused arcing and just invites all kinds of corrosion. So now we've got a nice tight clamp on our wire. Does that work? Okay. Bring our meter over. Same probes. We're going to go down here to the terminal itself. And that's perfect. And now, when we wiggle the wire, twist the wire, it actually gets better. This is actually better than it was before. So now, these clamps are ready to go and we'll charge our battery and we won't have any more problems. While we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and check the negative, which we have not checked yet. That's the clamp body. That is the bolt. And this is the clamp terminal. Yeah, so this one, is all good no issues and that's it so now we've repaired our smart charger now we can charge batteries all day long and no more smoke show from that thanks for watching see you later let's make magic